Hi friends, today's lesson is all about map skills, political versus physical. Now what is a map? Oh yeah, a map is a drawing of a place from high above. Now we use maps for lots of different things, and the reason why you need a map helps you decide what type of map there is to get. Did you know there are different kinds of maps? There totally are. Like, you need to think, what do I need to know in order to decide which map I'm going to use? If I'm going on a trip to Disney World, I want to know exactly what roads to take to get there. Otherwise, I'll just be driving in circles. If I want to go swimming in the ocean, I need to know where the water is. Otherwise, I'll be swimming in the middle of a prairie. That won't work out very well. If I want to go hiking, I definitely don't want to know where the mountains are. It's not very exciting to hike around flat ground. And if I want to go shopping, I want to know where those big cities are because I want to make sure I have lots of choices. Our learning goal for today says, I can explain differences between political and physical maps. Now, political and physical maps are two different types of maps. A political map looks like this. A political map shows streets and major highways. It shows big cities and little cities. It shows borders. Like, let's see, all of these red lines, those are big major roads that we could follow. So if I'm way down here in Fort Lauderdale, I could follow the red lines all the way up in oh, Orlando. That's where I need to go. That's where Disney World is. Having a political map helps me to find my way on different roads. I also see on this political map this little imaginary line, which is called the border line. That shows me where one state ends and a new state begins. I also see lots of words on this political map, like Jacksonville and Clearwater and Tallahassee. That's because political maps show me different cities and towns around on the map. If I want to go to a big city to go shopping, or if I want to go to Disney World, I'm going to need to use a political map because that's just the right kind of information that I need. Now, if I want to go hiking or if I want to go swimming somewhere and I'm just not sure where the water is or where those tall mountains are, I'm going to use a different kind of map. It's called a physical map. A physical map shows you what the earth looks like. You'll see over here where it's nice and green. That means it's really flat and there's not a lot going on. But see how these little bumpy parts right there? That shows me that the ground, the physical ground, is a little bit higher. Um, I know this is like Appalachian Mountains over here, and then, whoa, look at all these mountains out here. Goodness gracious. So just by looking at this physical map, I know if I want to go hiking, I'm probably not going to do it in Louisiana. I probably want to go way out here to like, ooh, Idaho looks like they have lots of good hiking there. Okay. So, a physical map helps you to know what the earth looks like. If I want to go swimming, a physical map really does a nice job of highlighting where all the water is. I could go up here to the Great Lakes or oh, well, anywhere on the East Coast so I can go by the water. I can go way over here on the West Coast over by the Pacific Ocean. A physical map tells you what the earth looks like. You'll notice it's totally different from the political map. So, you need to think about what do I need to know and then get the right kind of map. Our learning goal says, I can explain differences between political and physical maps. I hope that this has helped you to learn those differences.